Alrighty, hey guys. Uh, as you can tell, we are. I'm again not at home with this. Well, what the hell is it? Well, it is actually for a competition in next month. I don't even. Sometime in February. And uh, this is actually my electricity class, so that's pretty cool that uh, I was able to show off what I can, what you know, I can do with my smarts. And this is our MS10 UD. I actually took it and hauled it to school, and um, and a bunch of my alarms. I'm gonna, let me show you where I got this one from. All right. So this came out of the shop. It's at the same school where I got the, that alarm out of. That's the biggest reason I bought. I brought, I brought it here. See that right up there? It's pretty similar, doesn't it? I'm not going to pull that one, so I'm not that stupid. And there's the panel for that other system testing I did, which didn't seem to work out too well because, you know, kids in my class, over time, they kind of destroyed it. But oh well, because I got this. Um, again, this is for a uh, competition, which it's, it, it's okay, I originally wanted to, uh, it was actually at the request of the administrators to use that panel and you know make a little demonstration board why it, which is the reason why they originally bought that panel but you know I, I, I wasn't gonna settle for something that simple this uh, setup has four different actually five different zones uh, three different alarm three different types of alarms these are two these two are synced together these two are synced together and this one's by itself and uh, this one we just found in the storage room that, just the other day and I decided to hook it up to one of the programmable relays and our own little breaker so uh, the panel right now, since I have it set up to, um, it's our, it was just set up to here, so I'll, we'll go ahead and start off on this one. Let me go ahead and grab my keys. And let's go ahead and pull zone one. See how that went to red? That is actually quite loud when you're right in front of it. This is the Simplex 2901-9838. And you can see the system and alarm light went on because we have, like I said, set up to just one relay. And zone one is activated. Go ahead and... Where on earth is my B key? Go ahead and set this pole station. This is a Simplex 425120. Go ahead and reset that. It goes back to green. And it's going to go pop into a bunch of troubles because uh, we don't have batteries and some of the knacks are disabled. So shut that up. I'm going to go to number two for knacks. Then I'm going to go to three, disable that. Four, disable that. I'm going to one and enable wheel lock. Reset. Wait to acknowledge this. And I'm sorry, but this is not the best setup. Kind of found this bench at the last second. It was the perfect, perfect setup for it. Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and just leave that unlocked. Um, and uh, here we have the ADT. Now, I'm not, I can't remember the model of this one for the life of me. So, you, so for this one, we have a Wheelock RSS set on 30 Candela and then a Wheelock um, NS, I think it is which has uh, electrical tape on the inside and sets the low volume and actually is very quiet, which I'm not gonna complain about one little bit. So let's go ahead and pull it. And like, you can see how the strobes are in sync together. That was one of the reasons, this is, this is like one of the reasons I put my, how I put my own twist to this setup. Hmm. All right, and then they both go into sounds. Keep in mind, this is a two-wire device, so I can go ahead and what is the model of this thing? There you go. All right, go ahead and reset it. And the last setup, we're actually I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do the smoke detector test for this one.
Set on sync system sensor. Alright. Can smoke. The best stuff. <laughs> Go ahead and let you watch the red light. The light over here turn on. Went back to green, of course. There, go back into red. drown that thing. You can see? And that was two wire silence on the Spectralert Advance and the low frequency sounder. Go ahead and reactivate that one. See how two wire sing uh, audible silence. I'm going to reset this for you and give a little bit more of a quick ex explanation on why the hell this key's not. There we go. See again, system and alarm lights got on and on. I'm gonna go ahead and reset it from up here. All right, so a little bit of a quick explanation on what's going on, uh, what this is, why I did it, how I did it. So this has been over the course of um, a few months. I only have about two hour, two and a half, three hours in this class, so it's you know, it, it's not the most amount of time, but you know. It started off with this big $28 board, which uh, I stained myself. I don't know. I kind of like the looks of it. Back, I just kind of clear-coated. And, um, and everything started from... I brought, I brought the panel in, uh, because I can do that. I just drove it over here. And um, then it goes... And then I start with all the wiring going into that one junction box, running it up here to these four pole stations, and... Um, then it went up to this alarm. Like I said, it's going to be a free run alarm, so I can code it code three, um, pulse. I think it could do pulse on there. March time, whatever, you know, whatever you'd want. So, you know, that's pretty cool. And the, the, one of the main reasons, like I said, I, I brought this in was because, you know, it, it's kind of cool to show what came out of the school. It's pretty much a broken alarm that I was able to clean it up, make it look all good, because I can't even tell you how dirty this thing was, because it was in the metal trade shop where, I mean, they're metal metal shavings everything it was just black on the top of here nasty and this is a simplex light plate behind it which it came with right here we have system sensor sync uh, these two alarms are both advances like I said this is the low frequency sounded this is the um, just regular advance which I don't really like uh, set on 135 candela and um, why I decided to do syncable alarms is to show how you know neat this panel is you know it, having a two wire device you know see two uh, just two uh, two wires are going to it and how I was able to sync them both together sync you know I think that's pretty cool but personally and uh, then we got wheel lock sync which this actually came from uh, my teacher he actually had a few of these like I said for that system over there in the house that one is set up for um that one just came out of his box and like I said I put uh, electrical tape inside to kind of silence it to uh, quiet it a little bit so the uh, judges in February don't uh, get I don't make them deaf and uh, and then the uh, strobes just gonna be syncing together and um, this was one of the last installations I did which is you know instead of just running an ex extension cord I wanted to add just a little bit of actual electricity to it uh, because it, this is in the category of electricity you know just a little breaker panel this one's going to the panel and this one's going to the light these lights, like I said, we found in kind of a uh, storage room. 
my teacher's storage room and he was like you know let's go ahead and put that in so because you know it, it does look really cool with the um i don't know the, the lights on these things something about them uh, they're both 110 volts ac and like i said they're wired into the programmable relay which we did we meaning i in most of this but my brother helped me with that one see i try to uh, conceal the wires um down to one little area or condense them if you would if you would uh, so it looks a little bit better um and i think it turned out really good the only troubles we have on it are the knacks that are disabled and then no battery because of course the only batteries he has are like really old